um, if you just go down the page at page four, you also talk about cyber propaganda campaigns using DIY kits to automatically spam social media users, which then has a reach of hundreds of thousands of readers across platforms. Mm -hmm. Would you just briefly elaborate on that, please? Okay. So when we say uh, DIY, these are low hanging, very uh, not so complex kind of tools that can easily be programmed and manipulated. Mm -hmm. um, and then they get immediate results. So let's say uh, DIY tools such as if I want to spam a volume of users on a particular demographic or particular region is a kind of a DIY. So it will cost you less if you want to buy it, but it also is very easy to do uh, because it has low level programming required. Right. You know, easy to do. I, I, there was one example you outlined in the following page of your report, which uh, was particularly interesting about this restaurant that had the ability to get itself to a number one position by reason of using some information on online. Uh, some were false information. Some of them were just postings. Uh, are you familiar with that example? Yes, sir. Yes, so this is the example of, uh, of a shed restaurant in London. Mm -hmm. uh, can you just quickly take us through the facts? Okay. Uh, for this particular example, sir, I know the technical background but not the entire uh, story, but uh, normally this kind of technique is very popular at the moment because um, a lot of us would uh, look into particularly reviews yes. to influence our decision-making yes. process. So a lot of the cyber criminals are very familiar with that. Um, so how did they able to do it is either in two ways. One is w what you call click farm, where you have, and this is employing either bots or most of the time in um, underprivileged area, they normally mm -hmm. uh, acquire workers to do the actual click actual farm. Actual clicking. Yeah, so uh, this is the actual manner of clicking likes or dislikes, right? Or making repeatable same reviews or opinion on a certain element. Right. So that's how it normally influence. And most of the time, the the... The challenge, not the challenge, the technique here is to have v immediate volume reviewers. Um, and again, if you're just doing the same thing, it is very, uh, very routine. So that's how you didn't normally do I that. I understand. Uh, I'll, I'll just quickly share with you what I read from the story yes, uh, on, on the facts of this case. So there was, a, there was this individual who wanted to set up a restaurant and he wanted to test how his restaurant would do on TripAdvisor. So he's from London, set up a restaurant at the back of his home called The Shed. And he then decided to promote this online and use these devices, the, 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 the click farms and click baits yes. that you speak about. And um, very shortly, from the time he started the restaurant, which was May 2017, where he was ranked something like 18,000 something on TripAdvisor, got friends, people to write reviews, got people to share the reviews, like the reviews. And within something like uh, three months, he was ranked 156 with postings like this and also which, with postings of food, which were ultimately fake. Mm -hmm. So he had someone put up a picture like this, where it's held together by a foot, um, but looking quite attractive otherwise. And three months after that, by November 2017, following all these postings, he became the number one London restaurant on TripAdvisor. Mm -hmm. So all of this achieved using click farms, likes, shares, and reviews. Mm. Would this example illustrate how easy it is really to have these mechanisms, whether it's bots or actual persons, mm -hmm. come and influence an opinion? Um, yes, sir. Um, it becomes easier because of two ways. One is, uh, as I said, there are this kind of techniques that are proven to be very successful. And then they are essentially, the second one is that, um, sadly, the challenge is we have very um, not enough controls and standards in place in some of the distribution platform that um, allowed to flood a lot of this uh, information. I see. It's, it's also a reflection of the fact that the more times a certain type of news uh, is shared or posted, it's more likely to gain traction. Mm -hmm. That's correct. So the higher you get in the review or in the, in the ranks or in, even in searches, the better um, it is for you. So that, that's the natural attraction of a lot of the users. And therefore, the more unlikely it is to discern whether it's true or not true. That's correct, sir. And it's, um, it's something that if you don't find a way to control or check, could then proliferate in a large way. I mean, as you say, for political or financial reasons. Mm -hmm. Yes.